Channel 9 Sports presents BTA King of Bowling, featuring the area's top bowlers competing for cash prizes. Brought to you by Burger Beer. Burger, it's your taste. Trust it. And now, here's your host, Jack Moran. Thank you and good afternoon, everyone. Welcome once again to BPA King of Bowling for 1979. And today, well, all you have to do is look outside and you know where we are today. You're right, Brentwood Bowl. And the reason I say that, because this is the 18th year we've been coming your way with BPA King of Bowling. And I do not believe that in the 18 years we've ever come to this establishment that it hasn't been a blizzard or a monsoon. You've heard of the Montezuma curse or the Montezuma's revenge? Well, this is Bob Levy's revenge to us. I don't know why it is. But anywho, we're here for our inaugural program. And as you know from years gone by, this the first two weeks we have the gals with us. Then after that, they're on their own. Our first qualifying round was held right here at Brentwood. And whom do you think emerged victorious? Number one for the gals, who was our runner-up in BPA King and Queen just oh about five weeks ago, four weeks ago. Here she is with a 672. Let's hear it for Pat Peterson, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and the young lady to my imme immediate left was number two for the gals with a 628. Let's hear it for Vi McKinney. Vi, good to see you back again. <laughs> now, over here to my right, we have a couple of new faces on King of Bowling. The gentleman to my extreme right, who will be bowling in the very first game against Vi, is Bob Lab with a 707. <laughs> and to my immediate right was our number one qualifier. Now, I thought I always had the shortest approach in bowling. But where do you see this fellow perform today? He is only, I would say, about three steps from this foul line, but his ball is in that pocket every time. He must know something, because he shot a 7-13, our number one qualifier, Robin Skinner, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> well, there we have it. Our first match, we told you, be Vi against Bob, and the balls will start rolling right after this word about the beer that has brought you bowling for many years and will continue to do so in years to come. You know what I'm talking about. That zingier better than ever. Burger! Right. Okay, Slammer, here we go. Match one for the 1979 season. BPA King of Bowling, lanes 41-42. Brentwood, Vi McKinney leading off. And the first one's en route. And almost in the back door, but not quite. Vi, who was 29 and won the city match game championship. She, incidentally, Sam, she goes to the U.S. Open this year. It's true, very true for that championship Utapol team and Alice Gilkey is down there cheering Vi on. It's Vi against Bob Ladd in match one. And here we go. This fellow making his first appearance ever on King of Bull and he's no little boy either. Six foot four I think Jack. Is that all? <laughs> I hope he bowls his weight. He'll be tough. Bob Lab. Nice delivery there. Comes over on the other side, says, I'll take him over there. What a start. Yeah, he just rolled 299 in Hamilton area last last week, Jack. He's an employee of Linden Lanes. And he's got the credentials averaging in the league competition of 197 and 202. He's once he has several 700 series to his credit. So his first delivery ever on King of Bowling was a strike, and he's going to try to make it two. And he almost did it, the old seven pin. Still rolling, but the rack's going to get it. That was a good ball, just didn't carry the seven. Get a nice delivery. Got a 
a good roll on the ball. Rolled a fingertip. Well, the gals got the experience today as far as exposure on television is concerned. Look out, look out, so. That's known as the lane being about three inches too long, yeah, Sam. Yeah, it was too long. Yeah, Vi and Pat Peterson both have been on television before, but Bob and Robin are making their first appearance. Vi uh, having a little road trouble right at the start here. Yeah, it's a little fast with that ball, kind of sliding. In fact, that's the second time she's had that same pin. The old deuce. Why doesn't waste any time, Janotas picks up that ball, stares at her spot, and away she goes. Well, Sam, I know I was being a little facetious at the opening about Bratwood, but you know it's true. Every time we come here, it snows or we have a monsoon. Oh, it's something, I tell you. Do you think Bob's got it in for us? I don't know. I hope not. That looks good. That looks good when I left the hand. You know what they say, don't you? When the snow falls, the pins fall. Well, we should have a lot of them falling here today. I hope. There he is. Bob opened with a big strike, but then blew the seven pin in the second frame, and he's open. Plays a little nosy with that one, has the three ten. Sam, here we are, 18 years of bringing you King of Bowling and uh, finished five weeks of King and Queen best ball. Time flies, doesn't it? Surely does. This is another uh, BPA promotion, Jack. Let's see if Bob can set this baby up. Well, go outside, make it the hard way. Oh, I knew he played it that way. You could tell. <laughs> You know, if we had a mic down here right now, Bob would say, I didn't play it that way. There's a couple ways to play it. <laughs> yeah, if you miss inside and go outside, like Bob just did. Bob Lab. He says he relies on 25% skill and 75% luck, and there was another good ball. Seems to roll the ball pretty good. Being his first time, he looks pretty good. He's from up in your neck of the woods, Hamilton. Hamilton Fairfield area, yeah. <coughs> well, he had trouble with the seven. Let's see what Bob can do with the ten. This is a tricky cross lane shot. No problem there. Last night, Jack out at the Princeton Bowling City Tournament, Denny Wilde rolled 299. And one of our performers on the television show here all the time, Timmy Hale, shoot a 300 in Middletown oh, the other nice? night, too. Yeah. Oh, we'll be seeing Timmy again this year. Vi is still fast getting to that line. She can't wait to get up there. Yeah, that's uh, that's not the right uh, solution, I don't think. The way the conditions are, the hard finish, you got to make that ball roll more. She doesn't waste time at all. She's ready to go. And there comes Saul Sanker. Who said he wouldn't be here today, Sam? I did. Yeah, he just celebrated his 81st birthday, Jack. And it's, this is his 50th season in the bowling business. How about that? 50th year in the 50th bowling business. Year. Saul Sanker, who is the owner here of Brentwood Bowl. Bob Levy and Carl Schwartz are co-managers, you'd say. There's a big ball. I think Vi wants to stay on 41. I believe it. The lanes here are sort of short inside, really. Yeah, it's a beautiful facade they have down there. With a sort of the, uh, what would you call it, a solar system facade? I believe it. He's bowling in bad luck. That's a Brunswick setup, Jack. 48 lanes here at Winton and Compton Roads. Bratwood Bowl next week over in my neck of the woods, Delphair. Then we go to 
We're going to walk center lanes for a qualifier yeah, next there with the still openings there. Well, they're giving him a lot of practice at that turn turn today. Uh, 13 pin difference. Bob's had some bad luck. He's had uh, two of them solidly in the pocket. Twice he's left solid 10 pins. Here's the score, 79 a strike, 66 a spare. And we're halfway through match one. All righty, here it comes. And would you believe it? That call a little bit late. We still couldn't get the 10 out. I think you better go down and check that 10 pin, Sam. Well, for the third consecutive frame, Bob Lab is going to try that 10 pin. Look out, that one's taking legs on him. I would say right now, Vi is breathing comfortably. If she gets an X here, she's going to be in pretty good shape. Vi McKinney trying to dispose of Bob Lab in match one. You know, we could have an all gal finals here today. Very true, very true. Of course, Bob Robin Skinner is standing in the way of that right now. Well, tried to gang up on him. Yeah, it looked like they had a little inter interference on the play there. Next week, well, as we told you, the first two weeks, the women automatically qualify to the first week, as we have today. Next week, we'll have one. That's Nancy Amlung. But then the gals are on their own from there on in. We'll tell you about the bowlers next week after Vi delivers this spare ball. Scudder, remember him? 720. He was tops yesterday. Steve Bennell, who won, along with Anita Vollmer, the King and Queen Championship several weeks ago. Nancy Amlung for the gals and one of the four bowlers here today. Every time she's delivered over here, Sam, it's been a strike. She likes that 41. Bill Heflin. Well, he's a born loser already. Yeah, he he <laughs> rolls right third there. yesterday with 702, but as the women bowl next week, Nancy Ann Lung, Bill will be a, an alternate or a standby, as Mike Whalen is today, and Mike's sitting right behind me. There, he got, a, got that 10 pin out of there. But it's getting late, frame number eight. You, you remember who won it last year, don't you, Jack and Seymour's? Mike Upchurch, Bob Glandorf, oh, Jack the championship. Sure, yeah, Mike the, Upchurch, the uh, Mike Upchurch, yeah. 18, 19 years of age. Two in a row, Bob. Yes, sir. Well, Bob says, I'm not calling it quits yet. I'm still, still got an opening. Sam told me something here this morning or today that I didn't know, and I want to take this opportunity right after Vi delivers here. Another start. One of our real buddies, Chuck Hacker. And Sam, I didn't know that he had uh, a slight heart attack or right. something. Getting along very good now. And Chuck, wherever you are watching here today, a speedy, speedy recovery. Let's see you back on these lanes. One of the nicest guys that ever graced the bowling lane or had ever walked, period, is Chuck Hacker. There it goes, turkey time. She's tough. And yeah, she rolls a ball good here, Jack. There's a Alice Gilkey down there just smiling from ear to ear. One of her gals doing this. I asked her if she was a cheerleader. She said, yeah, I'm a cheerleader. The Chuck Hacker. I want to see Chuck back again. There's that solid 10 pin again. No, Chuck, I uh, didn't know about Chuck at all. I'm sorry to hear about that. Get along very good, though. The very first bowler we ever had on the program 18 years ago, Chuck and Gl Jack Gladhauer. Gladhauer, right. Okay. Well, all Bob can say is if I didn't have those 10 pins, I'd be leading. 
Uh, that's the oh, 36 pin difference. That's the difference in bowling, though, Sam. And 10 pins will kill you. Brian's been able to take them on. Four 10 pins have been left by Bob Webb, and he's got to go all the way to stay alive. Tenth frame, match one. That came high. I would say that's all she wrote for Bob. Yeah, that closed the store out, I'm afraid. Well, he should have no problem with this old six pin. What did I say? Huh? That right side was his doomsday. Yeah. And he had three one pin misses. That's no good. So 171, is that what you have? True, Sam? very true. And here's Vi, already the winner in match one to go against Robin Skinner. And she has a sneaker down there. Yeah, she kind of side wheeled that ball a little bit. A little speedy. a two, four, but that eight pin is behind that deuce. And she's gonna leave, yep. Nope, she didn't do it. But Vine has already done it here in match one. Two, four to 171. It'll be Vine against Robin Skinner right after this.